Thoughts along the Texas Louisiana border where flood levels are holding steady after the Sabine River crested. Steady, but still very problematic for thousands of people living in these high water areas. Some are returning to homes with inches of water inside. Channel 2's Kathy Hernandez is live in Orange County tonight with, with those folks who are really trying to salvage whatever they can, Kathy. We're in a neighborhood near the Sabine River where only pickup trucks can get through on some higher roads. Some roads are impassable, and some families here are doing anything they can to get by. I'll carry what I can carry, and we'll get to the grill. A regular trip to the grocery store is anything but for some families Thursday night. We just do what we have to do. They use their pickup truck to get through flooded roads and a boat to keep the food dry. We buy eyes, drinks, soft drinks, meats, eggs, a little bit of everything, chips, snacks, to keep us going. Susan and Sergio live closer to the Sabine River. Their house is flooded and they evacuated. Right now, they're staying with relatives where the water barely missed the home. I mean, it just filled up. And then we were like, oh my God, I don't know. And we were scared. As for Nick, after evacuating on Tuesday, he hasn't returned to his flooded apartment. I love to fish. Instead, he's taken advantage of the high water. If you think that the area is going to flood, you should probably be prepared for that. But even if people are prepared, it doesn't make it any easier. And tonight, I 10 in both directions here in Orange remains closed, and no word on when it'll reopen. Reporting live in Orange, Kathy Hernandez, KPRC, Channel 2 News.